Hello and welcome back to another video. So as you can see from the title, we're going to be doing my December collective haul and my what I got for Christmas. I only got one thing from Christmas and it is a gigantic Ulta haul because I, on my own, spent enough money to almost be diamond. So I just decided what I wanted for Christmas was just fill that out, you know? I only had about $160 to go, so that's what I got for Christmas. And I'm going to show you the things that I got there and then also other things that I got. But this is also the end of me tracking for an entire year. I will be doing a collective roundup at the end of this month or beginning of whenever I do it. Um, because I've been tracking my purchases for a year, you have only seen from like, I think July to now, because I kind of sort of stopped doing it because I was working immense hours. Um, at a restaurant at that so oh my god tiring but yeah I didn't do it for the first half but I did track for the first half so you will see the numbers of every single thing that I had and all that I spent for the entire year so if you're like into that subscribe if you're not just don't watch that video <laughs> simple um but yeah I will be doing that video soon but right now we're gonna be getting into what I got for Christmas my December collective haul this is the first thing that I got in December this was from Influencer. it's the Clinique take the day off balm in charcoal and I've used quite a bit um I made an entire review on this but essentially the gist is if you want something that is better at controlling oils because the original one because I had the original one too that one works perfectly fine but if it's something that you want to have like the charcoal in it or just like placebo effect, you think it works better, then get this. I think it's only like a dollar more. I, I put it all in my review. I'll link it down below. But essentially, it's the same thing with one added ingredient that is, doesn't really change the product. So if you were looking in towards getting something with charcoal in it or if you placebo effect genuinely think that charcoal works better for your skin then get it I wouldn't you know recommend this and be like oh this is the best cleansing balm ever because like it is but not just because it has charcoal in it you know like the take off the day it, it works great you only need like a tiny little amount and it'll take off your entire face it's actually kind of crazy but besides that I like this like I said entire review it will be linked down below so like don't even worry about that and yeah I like it it's good to get it for free it's about $40 and it is something that I clearly have been liking so yeah a great item to get for free from Influencer. next my mom went to Primark and she got my sister some things for like school and she got me some things because I exist so yeah I got this Tom and Jerry sweater you can only see Tom oh you can see Jerry okay I folded it correctly um, it's literally just a green sweater with Tom and Jerry on it. That's literally it. But it's super duper soft, super duper nice. And I like Primark sweaters. Like my favorite sweater ever that I've literally been wearing since like eighth grade. It's it's from Primark. It's like so soft and so cheap. Um, but yeah, it's a good sweater. And I like it. I also got these very long gloves. This is like the polka dot version and this is the pink version. This is very Marilyn Monroe. And this is just like fancy rich lady maybe going to a funeral. She definitely didn't kill her husband. And lastly from Primark, I got these uh, Santa scrunchies. I was going to do something with this, but then I uh, didn't record any of my face over the holidays. So now it exists and I have them. These are just for decoration, obviously, because I would not actually use these as a real scrunchie. But next Christmas or holiday video I do, I'll have these as my little scrunchies right there cute next I told her my mirror broke while she was there because I was like I, I can't hold it and I always use this one even though it literally is broke because it's just the first thing that I reach for but she got me two more mirrors and this one actually comes with like the magnifying thingy the small one over here I just don't use these I don't know why that's why they're still wrapped up I haven't used them um I just don't reach for them like yeah I just I like this one the shape is nice I can hold my hand right here and still like have the mirror be able like I don't know I might use these obviously they're mirrors I'm going to use them 
but this is the one that I reached for for like a hand mirror so yeah and then also while she was in that Dollar Tree because our mall has everything she got me this NK nail enamel in the shade 001 metal lime I have this in other videos like other swatch videos that I did where you can see my hands um but I don't have it on right now so I can't really show you the color just know that this is a bit streaky but it's a nice color so I can get over that because such a V smooths up everything so that is the only problem like it's quite sheer like if you do one layer you'll still see your nail color and then like a thin layer of lime which I actually really do like but if you build it up it's a bit streaky you can see the brush strokes so I wouldn't recommend this specific color. I've gotten other NK um, nail polishes from them before. Like I had this burgundy one that I wore to my eighth grade prom and that one looked amazing. But maybe they went downhill or maybe this is just a bad color. Next thing I got was all of these nail polish removers. I'm specifically using this one right now, um, but she didn't know which one to get me. My mom, if I say she, it's it's my mom. Um, but. The Swan one from Dollar Tree that I've been using ever since I like got my own money and started buying my own stuff like SYP type so let's say 14 so yeah about six years of buying that specific nail polish remover and that's just me buying it because my mom has bought it for me beforehand the only other ones that she got was like the Sally's acetone straight acetone and that's quite drying so the Swan one is the one that I really liked I've been using it for years and they decided to discontinue it and you search it online it'll literally show you the bottle but you can't buy it anywhere like not even on Amazon Amazon has even like resellers selling things from like 10 years ago so I don't know why the heck I can't find that nail polish if it's like something that caused something bad to happen as far as I know nothing bad happened to me not to my nails at least so if it was recalled I would like to know that because I've searched for it and I can't even find it on like reseller sites so yeah that nail polish remover is discontinued it was my favorite one it was the most moisturizing thing but anyways tangent off but tangent tangent done that's what I meant to say um this one's good but a CVS brand um the other ones I haven't used I don't know about those but this seems similar so i like it but it is a bit more drying than the swan one like this is purple it has the protein enriched or whatever but this is a bit more drying like my nails look more white like if i were to use full acetone so yeah nail polish remover review i don't know why like would anybody even care about nail polish removers i guess unless you use the swan brand too and you're upset why would anybody care about that? Next item I got from Influencer was this Too Faced Makeup Insurance 18 hour long wear long wear setting spray plus blue light defense. I don't know if it does anything for blue light because I am constantly on my iPad and I don't see any difference because, oh wait, that's a made up thing. Like everything says that it's helping blue light and they only put it because you can't prove it. <laughs> that's literally the only reason why they say that. Like, I like the aesthetic. I like that it's blue. I, I, I wouldn't have, per, you know, preferred getting Too Faced, but I have it now. Um, it works as a good setting spray. The smell, no, it kind of smells like the Pretty Fresh with that coconutty type scent, but like bad. Um, it's quite wet, so essentially don't spray so much in your face. Like this isn't something you could just like do the beauty guru because your face will be wet, although it does dry so it won't make you have a glistening shine yeah um whatever i can't speak it's late um what time is it 2 30 and 17 seconds um anyways freaking i like this i like that it has this clicky clicky thing because i've never had a setting spray that had that i don't know if it's just because it comes in this like type of bottle or maybe i just always watched people who had these types of setting sprays from two space I, I don't know but this is the first time i have one with a clicky clicky thing so that's fun to hear but besides that it's a setting spray i don't really see the difference in setting sprays like i wore it when i put on my makeup I put on my makeup, let's say around like 11 o'clock, 
played Animal Crossing, watched Violetta, and now I'm doing this. My makeup looks fine. I didn't do anything though. I look shiny though, which I didn't before. So clearly it doesn't keep the oils at bay. That's not its fault though. No setting spray keeps the oils at bay. Maybe my all nighter, but even that one, like, depends on if the day is hot, you know? Um, yeah. So besides me being shiny, it's no real negatives because there's no real pros. It's a setting spray. Not much you can get from it. Um, but yeah, I do like this. Uh, I'm just noticing this now. This box is off center. That's hilarious. And this is like a $40 setting spray. So imagine if you had to like buy this and your box was off center. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. That is bad. Granted, people throw out the box, they probably wouldn't notice anyways. But now that I'm looking at it, the box is off center. So that is not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to say about this. I'm I'm done. <laughs> next item that I got is from Kaleidoscope. If you saw my last collective haul question mark, maybe it's the one before. I don't know which one it was. But anyways, it was in a collective haul. I got the brown and the blue. This is the purple, although it looks rainbow. Um, I wanted this specifically because it looks rainbow and it's like bright, bright, bright. It's a nice bonnet. All the bonnets are nice. They literally, instead of having the elastic, they have a string. So you put it on your head and it's already secure that way. Like if it fits your head and your head isn't too small or too big, all you have to do is tie it in the back and then it won't come off. But I like it specifically because the string is long enough to where you tie it in the back, you tie it in the front, and then you tie it in the back again. You double knot that. Not only does it keep your edges laid, but it keeps it on your head. Because every other bonnet that I had, it worked for about a couple of months, let's say. If we're going to like wear braids, let's say like a week, because you know, braids weigh down the bonnet. Um, and then the elastic gets stretched out. When it goes into the wash, it gets stretched out. Like it's just, it don't work out all too great. So I like that that one's just string. So even if it gets stretched out, it really doesn't matter because I could just tie it tighter, you know? It's like, getting leggings versus getting jeans you know like leggings if they don't fit they just don't fit there's nothing you can do to fix that versus jeans put on a belt <laughs> okay so the next things i'm just going to say the only thing that i actually spent money on this month or i guess last month because it's january right now is tapas ink i spent five dollars and 43 cents i know exactly that amount because i always spend that amount any time that I'm trying to save money, but I also want to read something. Um, Cause you can get free ink, but like, it's so tedious to read one thing. You can get 300 ink every hour, but you can only earn it in 10 increments. Meaning you have to watch 30 ads and it's fine when you're like doing something else. Like if I'm watching a show, sometimes I'll just click and let the ads play, you know, free ink is free ink. Or you can take surveys. If they work, they'll give you ink faster, however much it gives you. But to read, and you have to have the one tap on, it's 300 ink, meaning you spent an entire hour watching ads to read one episode. No, I'd rather pay. And I think that's how they get you because they know you'd rather pay because no, I'm not going to spend an hour watching ads to read one episode. Like, obviously, it's an option, and I will do it if I obviously have the time. But nine times out of ten, I either don't have the time or I don't want to have the time, okay? Like, I got other things to do. I don't have time to sit there and do it. Anyways, conclusion is that I spent it on the ink, and that's the only money that I spent in the month of December. And so far, for January, because I might be continuing this book, I haven't spent anything. I did say that I wanted to get that Winx palette from Colourpop, but I haven't spent anything yet. So, might be a no by January like all these other, like, uh, people are doing. I don't know what they're called. Um, also, in my community, we have random things drop off of an Amazon truck, let's say, twice a month. Um, so I picked up some things from there. I got red, blue, and green bingo markers, you know, the daughters for bingo. 
um, because I never had them and I was just wanted to see what they were like. Um, origami papers because I knew how to make a crane in fifth grade and then I forgot and that has the instructions on it plus it's real origami paper and not post-its because I can make a crane out of post-its. <laughs> I was making cranes so much because I read Sudoku in the thousand yeah because it wasn't a hundred I clearly made a hundred it was the a thousand paper cranes it's such a sad book had all these 10 year olds crying like why are we reading this and we're 10 like evaluate yourself um but yeah girlie died of can spoiler alert girlie died of cancer yeah and like she didn't even get to make a thousand paper cranes like so I made it my mission you know my 10 year old mind was like well, I'm going to save up a wish. I'm just going to make those thousand paper cranes right now. <laughs> and I'm just going to save my wish. Clearly that didn't happen. And clearly people have died. So maybe should have saved my wish. I don't know. Anyways. I got some Sharpie highlighters. A paper screen protector for the iPad. I'm not putting it on my iPad though. So I don't know why I picked that up. Uh, color coding labels the little dot stickers um, because I just I want to have them just in case I want to put it on like a back of an eyeshadow or something like that and an apron from Vera Bradley it's a very nice actually I'll get it here and you can see it's like pleated it's actually nice like if this was a dress I'd wear it <laughs> like this is such a nice pattern and for an apron like ooh. but oh yeah that's all I got from them um but next thing I went to the Valentino Sephora Zoom, so I should be getting a lipstick and a Sephora scarf. But from what I've just heard, they send it through UPS. And my UPS, you have to go out to the truck. So if you don't know when or if something is coming, it'll probably be there and it'll probably get sent back, meaning that I probably missed it and I am upset. And moving on also I got some things my mom just didn't want anymore like she had a stitch shirt that she couldn't fit so I am wearing it now as a dress love to see it love pajamas um she had boots that we just cleaned her closet and she had boots that she wore once and didn't like so I took them even though they're not my size I'm going to wear them because why not they look like cowboy boots and the last thing that I got before we go into the Ulta haul is this Dunder Mifflin split shirt. This is from Torrid, which is like plus size Hot Topic. So I shop at Hot Topic. She shops at Torrid. Love to see it. But Torrid, number one, they make some good panties. Very durable too. Um, but freaking they have nice stuff. And I'm always like, look, if you see something that I would like, get it for me. And she actually did. It has Dunder Mifflin on one side and Shroot Farms on another, and it's a split shirt. And it's in colors that I don't have. Like I always wear black, but like green and blue together. Like this is like every single thing that I've wanted. I want split pants so bad and I haven't found any that actually look nice and are in my size and are not on like Shein. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a Torrid Zero, meaning uh, regular extra large so if you want to get this shirt that's the size I'm in you can see me wearing it in another video um I don't remember what video that is actually but I am wearing it oh 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 low buy intro I know what it is it's a low buy intro where I was like new hair new shirt yeah that's that's what it was so if you want to see how it fits on me specifically then you can go ahead and look there It'll be linked down below, and if not, it, it'll be on my channel because, you know, I might forget, but I probably won't forget. It'll be linked down below. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, not that you care, but this fits so nicely, and it's soft on the inside, but, like, thin on the outside. So you could wear it as a shirt or as a sweater, like how I wear it, like, wear, like, a tank top under it, and then put the sweater on top, so then it's, like, a nice shirt, but you still have another shirt under it in case it gets hot, you know? I love this. I love sweaters that are this thin to where it could be a shirt or a sweater. Love it. And now we're at the Ulta haul. This is all items that I bought just to reach that diamond status because like I said, I wasn't going to spend a thousand dollars and then be 200 short. That is so dumb. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, Kristen S. That's where these pearls are from. Ah. So I put all the small ones over here accidentally. So then I decided, well, then all the big ones should go over here because I was going to only do two. But then with the ones that I had left, I was like, okay, I have the smallest one left, which is, you could barely see it. Um, and I have the biggest one left. So I just did the three big, the three small over here. Um, these are supposed to go in your hair like pins, um, but they are flat bobby pins. Like if you were to put in a black bobby pin, that's what they are. So if you wanted to just swoop back your hair and put a bobby pin in it, like a clip, it works. But if you want to stick it in a bun or something, it works. And I specifically got it because I wanted to do like a high bun and then stick it in the bun, you know? So it looks like I have pearls going throughout my hair. But I decided to straighten my hair before these came. <laughs> so now I have to work around using it with straight hair which like I don't know what to do with these with straight hair like besides push my hair back and like and like I did in that low by intro video where I just stuck it in the bun like how they show it online um because these are also all different sizes so it's not even symmetrical where you do like you know bobby pin bobby pin and then just have your hair back but yeah I like these I like how cute they are and I like how you can like see them actually because there's a lot of bobby pins where it has like pearls, but it's like flat on the bobby pin, you know, instead of on the tip. So you don't really see it, like half your hair is covering it. So it's like, okay, what's the point? But yeah, these work for straightened hair and clearly non-straightened hair because this is frizzing back up. Um, it holds my hair actually. So I have to see it when I want to do what I intended on doing, which is the high bun and then sticking them in there but I assume they're going to stick because they stick in this hair and this hair is a uh, very slippable so obviously when my hair is a bit more coarse and compacted it will stick in so that's my mini review over um I like these and I heard that Kristen S hair is actually like a good hair brand but I didn't want to try like shampoo because I already have shampoo that I like so I tried this and it surprisingly worked <laughs> because I was like if I'm going to just get anything I want I'm going to get things that I not I wouldn't necessarily buy for myself with my own money and I got these because I love the pearls ah! and speaking of pearls that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today I got this set of pearls because this is like Ulta's nail decals and gems and it has stickers on top and pearls on the bottom and there's three sheets in here so all of these little pearls you see in here that's one there's two more of these in here same with the stickers too but I don't really care about the stickers I wanted the pearls and they have this for like gems like you know euphoria type little crystal gems but I wanted the pearls because number one I watch Judy and I always see her looks with the pearls and they're so cute but I also wanted to do this <laughs> there's nothing on my eyes I actually tried to put something on my eyes if you can see the remnants of it the about face uh eye paints in the white one and the green one because I was like okay pop of color we're gonna do a bright green and then it didn't it didn't pan out so I just wiped that off it did my eyeshadow like three times and then I wiped it off and then I decided well I'm going to do the thing that I specifically wanted these pearls for and just put them on the corners yeah <laughs> that's all I wanted these pearls for they're so cute though and I actually I had them in my inner corner and like I said, I've been sitting in this makeup for like over an hour, like probably two, three hours doing other things and one fell off. And then when I was trying to fix it, the other fell off. So they're somewhere on the floor. And yeah, that's that's where they went. I'll put a picture up of what I looked like when I actually finished my makeup. So, you know, I didn't look all greasy and... The, the, the mascara smudges and the excess uh, about face paint is still there but my eye is bare essentially and yeah all I have is mascara and these pearls and I like them because it's very simple and understated but like also editorial graphic I guess because like who's just wearing pearls on the daily you know but like look at how they look like I specifically wanted them to do this because on the outer corners it looks like I got something going on but no no it's not a nothing <laughs> nothing going on anyways like 
the pearls on my hair, the pearls on my eyes. Like, yes. All of it. Yes. But speaking of the nail gems, I got this duo two-in-one crystal gems and lash adhesive because number one, I did not know if the pearls were self-adhesive or if I had to get like a glue. So I specifically got this because I was like, if they're not self-adhesive, which they are and they stick, like, oh my God, you don't feel it on your skin. But like, if you try to move it, it actually sticks. Like, it's crazy. See, I just took it off because it stuck to my finger. <laughs> like, oh, I love this. Also, you can move them around and like, they don't um, lose their tackiness. I don't even know if that's like back in the space that it was, but it's back on. Anyways, the whole thing is, is that I got this just in case they wouldn't stick. I don't know if these are self-adhesive because I mean, they literally come with the lash glue. So if they were self-adhesive, that would kind of defeat the purpose. But if they are, that's fine too. But I heard that you could reuse them if you have the lash glue because then all you have to do is like wash off the lash glue. I just, I've never used lash glue. <laughs> If you didn't know, and if it wasn't apparent, I've never used it. Um, so I don't know how this works, but I figured I might as well try, especially since I have lashes that I got in like a, um, it was a box that I won from Super Great. But yeah, these are nice and tiny over here. And I specifically wanted this size of uh, gems because I want to do the same thing like how I did with the pearls. Um, because I have small eyes so the gems that I have that I bought when I went to a euphoria party they can really only go like on the cheeks like on the forehead like big places or maybe by my eye but like on the side because if I tried to put that like in a corner or something like that or do like the graphic wings but like just rhinestones I would only need like two rhinestones and then it wouldn't even look cute you know so yeah I got this specifically because it had the duo glue which everybody says is like the glue to get and it has the gems so i wouldn't need to get tiny gems separately and another frivolous thing that i don't necessarily need but i definitely wanted these are only like five dollars but from it's from le mini macron and it's butterfly dreams and they're nail stickers and they're clear so you just put them on your nails and they create the little designs for you. Yeah. Because I've been painting my nails like clear anytime that I don't have an idea for a design. Like right now I specifically did this because number one, I wanted to change my nails from the green that I had on. And number two, I wanted to use the nail polish. Like I try to use as many things that I'm going to be talking about. So that's why I decided let me use this but then I didn't want to do like a full thing of Zoya Oliveira so I just did the little dots um you you could definitely see the color <laughs> but yeah if you look up close it's blue with like a greenish uh tint on it I saw I think makeup just for fun wearing it and I was like mm, let me check that description see what that is saw what it was put it on my likes on Ulta then I bought it when I had the opportunity to because that's how things work my hand looked humongous that's hilarious oh my god and speaking of the Zoya Oliveira first off this is the first time I've ever seen Zoya come in a box but the box was already beaten up like this like I did not do this so whoever packaged this or wherever this warehouse was people were clearly opening this and closing it back and I don't know why but it's nail polish, so nine times out of 10, I'm not eating it. <laughs> so I don't really care if somebody touched it, swatched it, because there's nothing I could do about it. But every single time that I've bought this, I've bought it like without a box. So I didn't even know that it was going to come in a box. So I don't really care if the box is damaged. Essentially, what I'm saying is this is pretty. I was just confused when I got it because I was like, did somebody tamper with this? Or like, is this just like how it comes? Um, but as you can see, the shifts, the changes, it's like purple, green, blue, and it's a bluish black base. It's so nice. It looks like a little nebula in your hands. Um, but like I said, I just didn't want to do a very dark color right now. So I actually have on Nails Ink Cosmic Blur. I did an entire short of this. Um, this is one of those like shifty, chromey type nail polishes where it's like, it's one color, but depending on the light, it's a different one. It's primarily blue. But it's also like a pinkish purple shift, primarily purple. Um, but anyways, 
like I said, this is amazing. I had this on my wish list for months before I actually got it. And I am going to do like a full nail swatch, but I just don't want to do that right now. Like I did not have time to like accidentally stain my nails because I also don't have a good um, base coat right now. I only have such a clear. So that's what I've been using, um, unfortunately, because I have not gone, I have not gone to Dollar Tree. So I cannot get my LA Colors base coat top coat. That is the only thing that I like to use. Um, so yeah, haven't gotten it. The last two non-makeup items is this, Lan yeah, Lancome La Vie Estabelle. This I heard, this sounds so horrible, oh my freaking god. This I heard Alessia Carl liked um, when I watched her makeup bag. She was like, she can't go anywhere without it. So I had to get one because I always like thought this was a good scent and I can now confirm it is a good scent because I have it. Um, but I just never bought it because I was like, it's Lancome, you know? It'll always be there. It's a staple. Mm, yeah, that smells good. Um, freaking the box is immaculate. It looks like a little birthday party. It's kind of shiny and sprinkly. Um, but it also was like five times perfumes if I remember correctly. So, um, that's another reason why I got this because I was like, I can take advantage of that. Try something I always wanted to try, but never actually like took the splurge because for perfume, it's clearly something that's like personal. Like if somebody likes perfume, don't go ahead and say, yeah, well, I'm going to get that perfume too because you probably won't like it. Like most likely you won't like it. Um, but it turns out for me that if it's pink, I like it because I looked at the Victor and Rolf when I just wanted to buy a bottle. Got it. It was perfect. <laughs> and that's my favorite one, the Flower Balm. And also same thing with the Florence. Um, it is called something for me. Julieta. That's what it's called. Julieta. It's like this fresh floral and it has apple notes apparently but i don't really smell apples it just smells like clean and i love things that smell like clean or sweet and this is a combination of both so yeah i like this i really like it it's very sweet and this was a good recommendation i also do like how even though it's not raised so maybe maybe it's just like they can feel it but i think this is braille so i do like how that's there but it's just very faint so i don't know if they'd actually be able to feel it the blind people or people that are blind because i don't know it just feels very faint but obviously they're more in tune with that they'd probably be able to feel it even if it's slightly faint maybe i don't know too much about reading braille most things that i learned about braille was like from arthur so not the most informed on that but i do like how this is an option because any accessibility is important, especially with any sort of disabilities or hindrance to daily life. The Dionys Goat Milk Skincare Hand and Body Goat Milk Cream. This is, it's lotion. Um, I got a sample in an Ulta bag and then it was actually good. So I decided why not get the full size? I was going to try the lavender one that they have, but I was like, why would I do that and go ahead and get something that I might not like when I can just get the exact same thing? So this is my hand lotion. It smells good. It's super duper smooth. It does stay a bit oily. Like if you start sweating, the lotion will, it'll, you'll feel it, you know, versus like another one that I have, this utterly smooth one. It's literally matte. It stinks though. That's the only problem. Um, so yeah. Win some, you lose some. But this is good. I really like this. And so far, this is going to last me a long time because you literally only need, like, the tiniest bit for your entire hand. Like, this is how much I put on. I've never been the type to put on a little bit of lotion, okay? I'm not a moderate person. So the fact that I only need this little bit and it spreads for my entire hand is crazy, okay? Like, look at that. Moisturize. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. that's crazy so yeah i actually do like that hand lotion and if i only use it on my hands and not my body this will last me at least like six months now on to the makeup portion i got two palettes this one's technically not really a palette because it's just a single eyeshadow pan but like with three shades in it instead of one 
and this is a palette that sucks because it's pressed pigments but pressed pigments that don't blend because my by melalops palette that's all pressed pigments and all of those blend immaculately so yeah i knew what i was getting myself into because it's hip dot you know it's not like what is we're not in a rave thank you this light is going crazy um but I knew what I was getting myself into. I said it in my review and I have reviews for both of these. So if you would like a more in-depth review, I have those up. They will be linked down below. But I will show you the palettes just in case you don't want to go all, to, all the way to a separate video. Um, this is what this one looks like. Very boring, neutral, but with the pops of green. And I figured that those greens would be nice to have. So far, the only color in this palette that's even worth using is the gold. But that's also very gold so if you don't want a specific shamrocks uh saint patrick's day type gold don't get this for the gold because it's not good i don't like this palette is what i'm saying i actually have a short on this too but in my review i said that this is amazing it only is like 12 dollars. look at the inside packaging too um but it's only 12 dollars for the three shades so it's like four dollars each shade and i would pay four dollars for at least two of these shades maybe not that yellowish gold because like i said i don't really like yellow golds but having it in here is nice this is nice this is a nice dark green and this is like basically my skin tone but a bit brighter so i like these two shades and this gold is actually useful like it blends in nicely i just wouldn't you know pay for that specifically but since it's all together this is a nice like little palette to have and it's cute it's bt21 it's chimmy which i think don't hold me on that i think it's jimin i think possibly oh not the pearl traveling stay okay but yeah i got these two palettes this one is cute but not functional this one is cute and functional so yeah you win some you lose some <laughs> two other items that i reviewed is the lottie london color clouds these are supposed to be crease free. They're not, they're not full stop because I have oily eyelids, meaning they should be crease free on me. Thank you. On dry eyelids, they're going to be crease free. There's no moisture there. <laughs> like if it's supposed to be crease free, it's supposed to be crease free on me, the person with the creases. Thank you. Um. Also, if you didn't see, I have deep creases like by you know my eyelids don't really exist nine times out of ten so so given that fact this should be crease free on me and it's not at all not in the slightest if you want to do like a little dot on the edge of your eye if you want to paint your face with it go ahead but on your eyes it's not going to be crease free it also doesn't layer nicely like the color that you see in here you won't get unless you put it on a flat surface like if you were swatching it this blue is immaculate. I love it. This is not really a brown. It's more like an orange tone brown. Like it's very orange. Um, so if you were looking for like a nice warm brown, no. This is more my skin color when blended out though. So I don't really care about that. So if this was actually like, you know, crease free, I would wear this. Because this is essentially like my skin color, but a little bit more orange. And I would wear this. But it's not crease free, so I don't want to deal with creases when I could just put on like powder eyeshadow. And if it creases, then like it's powder at least, <laughs> you know, like at least it dulled the shine or something like that. Like this gets shiny, greasy, oily, and it creases when it's supposed to be crease free. Like I said, I have an entire review on this. If you want to see it on my actual eyes, you can go ahead and do that. I have swatches, everything. It is it's going to be my last video, actually, because this is going to be the next video that I upload. I'm not doing anything in between there. So, you know, meaning this is my last video and you should go ahead and watch that if you want to see how it looks on my eyes. And I did a 10 hour wear test in the video, but like I wore it for like hours after that because I had to edit that video. So yeah, I essentially wore this for like 12 hours and it was not fun. I felt it on my eyes for a long time. Um, so yeah, my eyes are a bit rough right now. Um, and these aren't good. They're a waste of money, even though they're like cheaper than the about face eye paints. If you're wasting your money, it's not really cheaper. Now is it? <laughs> and speaking of about face, I got two new eye paints. I got Vertigo Flowers and Art of Darkness. Vertigo Flowers is the green one and Art of Darkness is obviously the black one. 
these two I specifically wanted when they were doing their like 30% off sale and I got my other one um cloned question mark the brown one I, I put it in another video I have brown blue white and now these two I wanted to get this green one I set it in a full rant in my other thing but they canceled it because it was out of stock even though it was in stock when I ordered it but like okay um but yeah I finally got it it's a nice green I put it on my eyes today to mix it with the white it did not mix all too well with that so I have to try it a bit more but so far it's an ice cream that sounds like I said it's an ice cream doesn't it okay and this black is just black it's very black <laughs> um nothing more I can say about that I haven't tried this on my eyes though and I don't think I ever will I feel like that's gonna stain um but like for designs and stuff I wanted the black because I just wanted it you know like a white a black a brown good colors to have and then like the green I specifically wanted this green because I was like dude a green that won't crease on me that'll be amazing so yeah I got these because I already know that I like them in the other formulas and these are just colors that I wanted and then I got these two items this is hush tonight and it's the liquid paint I have this on the center of my lips it has faded but I mixed it with my elf glossy lip stain so it has not had the like liquid lipstick texture to cling on to um because when i wore <laughs> when i wore it as like just itself it works the same as the other one that i have so long summer question mark i think that's what it's called um this is a nice blood red this is so dark like oh my god i love this um like I said, it deepened up my glossy lip stain. So number one, now you know, you can mix it with things and it won't completely like alter the formula. Um, the stain stayed and it stayed a bit redder than it usually is because this is my second glossy lip stain actually. And I got another one because I ran out of the first one because I actually do like this. Um, and this deepened the color so I think this is like a good combination to have especially if you don't want to have like your lips be completely dry but you do want the color on there like look at this it faded nicely even though it had the liquid lipstick in it instead of just the glossy lip stain you know and the glossy lip stain usually kind of only stays towards the inner rim which doesn't really make any sense since that's like you know where you talk and all that but that's how they work like the glossy lip stains are only six dollars so i can deal with it but if you have any like dry patches on your mouth or whatever it clings to it so th that's where the color will be deposited um the red one's the only one that doesn't really do that to me the brown one though oh my god <laughs> oh my god um but that's why i bought the red one again and not the brown one i'm also not done with the brown one anyways i like that it's essentially what i'm saying and this is the shade score from this is the shade score from about face i already have the shade cowgirl which is the orange one and this is the lilac -y purple i have an entire review on this you can see it on my cheeks it's a nice lilac lavender blush it's quite oily when you swatch it so i'd say wait a day because shipping clearly makes it oily and it does look more oily in the pan than like the other shade so this is probably a more oily formula um but i have oily skin and it didn't fade on me it did last a bit longer when i put it on top of my powder my call my blush bare minerals um blush i'm actually wearing that today on top of my uh elf putty blush in bali but that's my standard blush and i put it on top of that because that's the blush that i generally wear and it worked way longer on that so if you want it to be long lasting i'd say put it on top of a powder but if not then this is a nice blush it fades nicely you still have the color left but it's like fainter um and it's a very distinct color so if you're not really going for like a very lilac shade of blush don't get this but if you are perfect <laughs> And the last items that I got in this entire haul, oh my god, I've been talking for hours, is e.l.f. So I got a restock of all of these products. <laughs> all of these are rebuys. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. So this is the e.l.f. Brow Lip, um, like, 
tool. It has the spatula end over here and then the spoolie end. This I actually got from my ABH brow, whatever. I gave it to my cousin, so I gave her this too because I was like, why would I give her the product without the product tool? Um, so I was like, well, I need to get another one. <laughs> um, and I got another one of these because I still have the brow palette from e.l.f. So I can use it to scoop up the clear and the tinted brow gel in that. I got another e.l.f. brow pencil in dark brown. This is the only brow pencil I've ever had and the only one I'll ever repurchase because it's $3. Apparently it was $2 when I first bought it, but I also first bought it in 2020. So like they said they were raising their prices. So clearly a dollar isn't going to really do much, but it's a change. Um, I literally, this is amazing. First off, it's only this little bit of product, but it lasts so long, one. And two, you'll need a little bit and it has the spoolie on the other end. I love that because I just, I can't, we're using a spoolie, like an individual spoolie brush is useless to me. I do not ever use them. I'm never going to use them. It's like even in my um, Real Techniques uh, brush thing, I got this lash separator. I've used it once only because it was literally sitting in my face otherwise I would not reach for it I would just suffer I'm not going to go ahead and get a separate spoolie so the fact that it's all together and it even has a little cap for the spoolie means it doesn't get dusty my other one on the other hand oh this is stuck yeah my old one got bent out of shape literally um it's a good angle though um it's very dusty I do clean it but you know dust exists and the words are faded like she's a mess um but this is the only one i've been using since 2020 granted i only used it for the spoolie for like the most of the time so besides like the last couple of months last year i haven't really been using this so that's why it lasted so long this one probably won't but you could just you could just see the difference girl has been through it like oh my god um, but yeah, I just keep that around for the spoolie because I have warped that spoolie. So if I want to specifically use an angled one, I'm going to use that. I'm not going to throw that out. Um, but this is the new one. And the spoolie works nice on this one too, even though it's straight. Um, I like the angled one though. It's a bit more uh, finicky though because now it's off center and it moves. But besides that, I like the spoolie. Anyways, this is another repurchase. This is the e.l.f. Am I going to sneeze? No. Elf Fiery Red Glossy Lip Stain. I got this as a redeem from Super Great actually. So this is actually my first time. Well, I didn't really buy it. I didn't pay for it. But this is my first time specifically getting it from Ulta, you know, from a store. I redeemed this from Super Great. It lasted me an entire year. And it's nice. It's only $6, like I said. So it's a good lip stain. And out of all of the lip stains that I've tried, because I've tried the one from El Luz, I tried the one from freaking, oh, ColourPop, that's, that, that was the other one. The ColourPop one actually did last a long time. Tutti Fruity, I got it in the Sonic Bloom collection with the palette. The palette is immaculate. And Tutti Fruity is actually a very nice color. But number one, like I said, it does the fading thing where it collects if you have any dry skin and it fades around your lips. So the only color is left in the center, which doesn't make any sense because that's where everything is. Like you eat, you talk from the center, not the outside. So it would make more sense if it was like butthole lip instead of the inner, I don't know. Anyways, out of those, this one lasts the longest and doesn't stink because the Tutti Frutti one, like I was saying, actually works, <laughs> but it, it just smells so bad. Like all ColourPop lip products, at least the liquid ones I've tried, smell so bad. And I don't know why, I do not know why. But every single time I've gotten a liquid lipstick product or a lip tint or I got a lip oil and it smelled like hair. Like I, it smells bad. I don't know why. And then it stops me from using it because it smells bad. I actually still have it because I use it for fake blood um, because it's the perfect viscosity and color for that. And I'm not going to buy fake blood because that's like a very specific purchase. Um, so yeah, if you ever see fake blood, it's that. But this is a nice red lip tint. That was 10 minutes of me talking. Okay, I'm, I need to stop. I'm talking too much. It's probably gonna be like a half hour video. I'm so sorry for me, not for you. You chose to watch this. That's on you, bestie. <laughs> um, but yeah, that brings us to the end of this haul. 
let's do the little wrap up so we can be done okay actually that was a torrid uh zero which is a regular l slash 12 that's actually what the size of the shirt is i forgot that i put this in here so perdoname like I said, I only spent $5.43 on the Tapas ink, and if you want to count beauty purchases, that is not a beauty purchase. So given that fact, I have spent $0 on makeup in the month of December. We did it, Joe. We did it. Because that was my entire goal for this entire year, was to just have one month where I spend nothing. And granted, yes, I did get a lot of things for free, you know? I got influencer packages that literally just came out of nowhere because they just never tell you when they're gonna send anything. And then my mom for Christmas got me an Ulta haul where I could just choose whatever I wanted, you know? So that was all, you know, helpful. It's not like I didn't get anything and spent no money. But number one, if we stay on track for this month, it might be a month of maybe getting that one Winx palette so this might be close um but this is what i've been working towards and the fact that it's in my last month of this check-in is enormous to say the least okay like i've been trying to specifically not spend money on makeup and i didn't we did it joe okay we did it with some tangents but we did it thank you <laughs> thank you for coming to this journey, to this uh, tracking, to this countdown, to this whatever the heck other thing I can insert right here. Um, I will be continuing this. I will actually try to start from January this time and not just ghost you until July. Although July is a good place to start because you know it's the second half of the six months. So still tracking for six months is better than zero. Um, but I, like I said, I did track everything in my book. I will be doing a roundup where I tell you every single thing I spent the entire year um but that's just honestly so wild <laughs> that this month I have zero for my beauty purchases because like I said Tapas Inc they always get me and honestly my mom also bought me some Tapas Inc but I just didn't write it down because I didn't spend the money but that's that's also another thing she also did a 543 so yeah I I really do want to like tamper down on the buying actually use my makeup that I have because like this elf putty uh, blush in Bali was my favorite blush when I got it but then I got other ones and I decided to use things that were closer to me and then like I kind of got obsessed with just using the bare minerals blush and I didn't put anything else with that like now I layer my blushes but before I was just going like okay powder blush boop 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 let's go so yeah uh, this is my first time using it in probably like months and it is amazing still works perfectly fine it might be expired but i don't really care it's not breaking me out so i'm gonna keep it um but yeah i freaking love it i love this for me i love this for us okay for us because we're in this together because you're watching this so you're here but yeah that brings us to the end of this video keep your eyes peeled keep your um peepers out for <laughs> peepers keep your eyes peeled for my end of the year roundup even though it's the beginning of the year so it's not probably going to be called that but you know that's essentially what it is and keep your eyes posted why well, do I look like a mannequin I don't know if I said this already, but keep your eyes peeled for the end of the year roundup that will not be called that because it's the beginning of the year. And also keep your eyes peeled for my makeup inventory. I haven't done one since like last year, so it's going to be very different. But like I said, I'm going to do that roundup where I total everything. Like I, I show you all of my inventory spreadsheets, all that but the inventory will be a visual inventory and how I like to do it is to separate each video into the categories that I specifically separate my makeup into. So like palettes is one thing, single eyeshadows is one thing, blushes and bronzers are together because I almost never have a bronzer. I literally only count it because that duo that I had from NARS. Um, like I separate it into the categories and those are each individual video. So you don't have to watch a full collection inventory for what you don't care and also I can get more in depth with the long videos like 
if it's going to be 20 minutes of blushes it will just be about blushes not 20 minutes of look I have these items and I'm not gonna tell you anything about them not gonna swatch them at all and we move on for mine I like to swatch everything that I own because that's kind of the point of the inventory and I tell you something about them so it's gonna probably be like 10 20 minutes I'm probably not gonna make it that long because it's too much work um but it's going to be a decent amount of time with each product besides palettes because palettes I have over a hundred and that would literally be like an hour long video and I don't even have space for that. I probably don't have space for this. I'm probably going to have to edit this, delete a whole bunch of apps. I had to delete YouTube one time to upload to YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So essentially I don't have space for that. That's specifically why I'm not doing it. If I had like a camera with like hours of footage space, I would 100% do that because I love talking about my stuff. But you are going to only get the abridged version of things if I don't have the space to record it because that's that's what we're working with bestie um but yeah <laughs> like comment subscribe tell me if you like any of these products tell me if you use any of these products I know that there's one person called makeup that always watch my videos and they're telling me about their items so yeah if you're watching this hi tell me if you like any of these things you already told me about some of these things you know like the blushes and stuff but any other things that i got um and i will see you in another video and maybe in the comments talk to me bestie okay bye bye no that's not what i say like comment subscribe do all that good jazz and i will see you in another video bye that's what I say. Yeah. Mm.